My name is John Briano. I run the FullertonInformer.com, the Fullerton YouTube, Fullerton Informer YouTube channel. And I want to invite everybody in the audience to understand how this process works, how to steal public property and give it, give it away to their crony pals. And how you stop that is you apply pressure on the Planning Commission to make sure they don't rezone the use of this property. Then you come back and you continue to apply pressure to these people that are working out this dirty deal. It's a situation where the state legislature is run by insane criminals, and we shouldn't have to follow the edicts when they want to ban straws and hand out syringes. I happen to be a soccer coach this year, and I have 14 young girls that have to practice over at Pacific Drive Elementary, and because this city has no money to keep the grass cut every week, they have to cut it every two weeks. And so the problem is I can't see if there's heroin needles from the hypes in the grass when these girls are running around with their cleats instead of high tops. That's a problem, folks. And what this city has done and tried to do in the past is turn this place into a high-rise hell with the downtown core and corridor-specific program that was defeated by people in this community that would have turned this place into metropolitan Los Angeles. But the word is out on the street that the developers are not welcome here because you people are not going to be allowed to rezone any more shopping centers into high-density housing with bankrupt businesses that stay downstairs that serve as a mill for the SBA fraud. And that's a fact. We don't need to import poverty. We got a business here that is changing lives. If these people want to change their life that are down on their luck, the Home Depot parking lot is waiting for them. There's plenty of work to be had in the mornings. The hospital can give them their methadone. If they want to clean up, they can get right with Jesus Christ. There are ways to do this without ripping us off and ruining our neighborhoods. And when are you people going to realize that now has come the time when people are not going to put up with you people ripping us off anymore and ruining our city. Where'd all the money go for the road repair? La Palma, Buena Park, Garden Grove, Santa Ana, Anaheim. Everyone's got the same police budget, fire budget, pension obligations, health care obligations, tree trimmers, sewer workers, and they can manage to fix all their roads. And we got high densities to kingdom come, and this place is a disaster area. What is going on? Where did the $100 million go that those cities spent on their road repair that we haven't been able to find? And we say we're broke, and your solution is to feel sorry for these people. You know, I feel sorry for them, too. But you want to know something? There's ways to fix this problem without destroying what's left of this community that hasn't already been destroyed by a multi-generational cabal that has had a death grip on our city government. And it's time to end it, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm running in 2020. And I'm not going away. <laughs>